So if we react NO and H2 together, we're going to get NH3 and H2O. Let's say we start with 5 moles of NO and 10 moles of H2. Uh, let's try to figure out how much of everything we would have left when the reaction is done without doing complicated math. And so if you notice here, this 10 moles is twice the amount of H2 uh, that's found in the reaction. We have five moles of H2 in the reaction, but we have 10 moles of our substance. So let's use that ratio to be able to figure out what's going on. Okay, so really what, what I want to say is this amount here, right, is like two times what we've got in our reaction. So if I were to have two times that, well, what is two times two? Well, two times two is four. So our twice as much down here would be four moles. And our twice as much down here is 10 moles. So how much is going to wind up getting used? Well, if I wind up using our 10 moles and our four moles, there's going to be one mole of NO left over, and there won't be any moles of hydrogen left over. On the product side, we still have 2x. And so, you know, what's twice as much of 2? 4 moles of NH3 will wind up getting made. And just for clarification here, in terms of starting off, we really started off with no moles of each of these. But we have to, if we multiply this side by 2, we're going to multiply this side by 2. So we wound up making four moles of NH3. We made, because it's 2x, four moles of H2O. So do we have any combinations that wind up getting us to 1044? And it turns out that our answer is going to be A. So without doing any fancy complicated, uh, calculations here. We just said if we had 10 moles of H2 to start with, that's twice the five that we have in our system. So we can really think of this as 4, 10, 4, 4 Oops. as our coefficients. And then what did we do to the left side? We used them. What did we do to the right side? We made them.